Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you my recent kind of go-to slightly glamorous makeup look. It's one of those looks that can work during the daytime, but also nighttime. It works whether you're wearing a purple lipstick, a nude lipstick, a red lipstick. It'll work no matter what color your outfit is. And there are a few new techniques that I'm gonna share with you today that I've been doing and really loving the effect that they have. Now this look is going to take a little bit of effort. I know some of you don't wanna even have to spend more than five minutes, but this is kind of more that stepped up glam look. So spend a little extra time and I think you will love the results. So without further ado, hit that subscribe button and now let's get started. So I already have my skin prepped with moisturizer sunscreen. Now we're going to prep the eyelids. So this is something new. Now this is a three-step process. Hang with me here. I saw Nikki LaRose do this on Lisa J. Lisa J is the owner of BK Beauty. The concealer I'm using is the Hourglass Concealer and this is one that I have not really loved under my eyes but I'm so happy that this is working for me on my lids like this because it helps me not waste the product. So I am just blending this all over the lid and you can see I am taking this from the inner corner, I mean even the side of my nose, all the way up to my brow, my lash line, and beyond the edge of my eye. And then I'm going to take a brush. Now you can use any old brush. I'm just using the rougher 36 brush. I'm just gonna go over and make sure I don't have any excess concealer and really work that in. If you have any texture on your lids, you just really wanna make sure you don't have excess product in the texture. Okay, so you want to let that sit until it is completely dried down. And this is where I would recommend using a concealer that's not too hydrating, not too emollient. Like I would not use It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye on your eyelids. It will be a greasy mess. So you want to use a concealer that definitely dries down and sets. And then once it has set, because I have oily eyelids, and if you have oily eyelids, you're going to want to go in next with an eyeshadow primer. I've used the Milani eyeshadow primer that has worked well. Today I'm going to use the Smashbox Intensify Photo Finish eyeshadow primer. This is also a great one. Now the good thing is you're only going to need just a tiny tiny bit and you want to blend this over the entire eyelid into the crease and up to the brow. Now the final step is we're going to set that in place with a face setting powder. You could use an eyeshadow here, but I feel like a setting powder has a little more hold power throughout the day. And I'm using the Nikia Joy pressed setting powder. This is the one that smells like vanilla cookies. I love it. I'm using the rougher number 33 brush. And I'm just going over the entire eyelid area all the way up to the brow with that setting powder. This is going to make our eyeshadow blending a piece of cake, but it also is kind of that final perfecting step on the lid. Okay, I know some of you I've already lost because you're like three steps just to prime the eyelids. It is important when you're doing this really kind of bare eyeshadow look on the eyes. You really need to have your eyelids really nice and even and perfected. So. That is something that is definitely worth taking the time to do. Okay, let's move to the face real quick. We are going to apply foundation, and today I am using the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Liquid Foundation, and I'm using Sandstone 16, and I'm going to apply it with a beauty sponge because I feel like this gives me a little more control over the coverage, makes it look nice and natural, but I can get the coverage and the evening out that I need in certain places. So if you're doing a glam look, especially if you're going to be wearing a red lip, you really need to make sure that you cancel out any redness on your face because the red lip is going to bring out any redness you have on your skin. And then I'm just taking a few extra minutes to perfect my overall skin. I have a couple of spots that just need a little coverage here. And I'm only doing this because I'm actually getting ready to film a video which may already be up 
or it might be coming after this one, I'm not sure. And it is a fashion try on video and hair tutorial, multi hair tutorial video. So I just want to make sure I've got all the extra coverage that I need. Okay, now I'm gonna let that sit. We're gonna go back to the eyes. Just under the brow, I am going to use a little bit of a matte cream eyeshadow. Use your favorite one. This is just the one from the first Dalton Squad Palette, Doll Squad Palette. I just want a little bit of brightening right there. All right, now for this look, what's great is you could use probably a number of palettes in your own collection to get this look. So you don't have to buy any of these specifically. So you could use the Pretty Grunge, the Patrick Ta, this is the original major dimension one, the Beauty and the Beast palette, the ABH Sultry palette, any of those palettes are gonna have the shades that you need. Okay, I've been debating myself which palette to use. And actually, I think I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. This has not gotten a lot of use from me. So I'm trying to find new looks that I love to create with these neutral colors. So I'm gonna take the refer number 15 brush and I'm gonna go into this middle kind of camel colored shade. I'm just putting this all through the crease. And because we have that setting powder all over our lid. It's really helping diffuse this shadow. So I don't always do the setting powder because sometimes I like a little extra grip, but for today's look, we want everything to really be soft and blended. So that is an important step. And especially because we used that concealer as well. Okay, next we are gonna go to the lash line and we're gonna go in with this matte dark brown. And I might dip a little bit into this, we'll see, but we're gonna start here. And I'm just gonna use this BK Beauty 204 brush. And this is really just going to serve as a softening effect to the liner that we're going to use. Yes, we are going to use a liquid liner, but it's going to be easy, I promise. And it is actually something you could do with a powdered shadow if you prefer, but I have really been enjoying liquid liner again. And as I get out here to the outer corner, I'm just kind of lightly flicking my brush out. Don't worry, we're gonna clean this up, but I'm just starting to give myself a guide. I'll tell you what's to come in a moment, but I'm flicking out out towards the temple, not down, but out and slightly up, but not up towards the brow. So kind of going from the edge of the corner of the eye and out and up, like right there. Now I'm going to dip a little bit into this warmer kind of color. This, it looks more red in the pan than I feel like it shows up on the eyes. So that's, I think, why I haven't used this palette much is I don't feel like there's a big distinction between the shades, just varying levels of brown. <laughs> you know me, I like to mix it up, but this is perfect. Okay, we're gonna stop there for the moment on the lash line. Next, we're gonna go to the lid and we're gonna start with this color right here. Now, I was confused by this color until I saw somebody apply it with their finger. It's matte with tiny little glitter sparkles. And I've always been mystified by those kind of shadows until I saw someone do this and I was like, oh, that's how you get that glitter to actually kind of stick. Because before, when I would apply it with a brush, I felt like all of the glitter just went away. Now there's still very little. So this is gonna be an option to just leave your eye look right here and not do the final step, but there is one more glitter step that I am just so in love with. It's, oh, it's a beautiful product. Okay. I'm just packing that all over the lid from the inner corner and I am going just a little bit past the center of the eye. And then I'm gonna use my good old Sigma E55. This is from the Beauty and the Beast collection. And I'm going to use this on my eye that is more hooded to kind of cheat, make it look like my lid space is a little more than it is. I'm just really making sure I pack that shadow all up 
technically past the crease. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the number 12 brush and we're going to do a combination of these two shades, mostly our crease shade, just a tiny little bit. And we're just going to lightly brush this. We're not going like super dark in the corner, don't worry. Some of you hate that, <laughs> so don't worry. We're not going super dark. Just adding a tiny little touch here so that we can blend it out. And you can see I'm going kind of out with the shadow rather than up. And then take our number 15 brush. Just blend that. See, that doesn't look dark. It's just making sure we have color in the outer corner. We're going to do now liquid liner. Don't be intimidated by this. You can actually just go in if you'd rather with a flat brush like this one. This is the Sigma E15 brush or Morphe M432 brush, something like that. And you can use this with just a dark shadow here, but I'm gonna use my favorite KVD Mad Max Brown Tattoo Liquid Liner. And I'm using this brown color because it's just a tiny bit softer than black. And I think it makes a big difference. I'm using this to go really super close to the lash line. I did go all the way to the inner corner, but real thin. And then as we get here towards the outer corner, I am now going to shake it again. And now I'm going to go for me, I need to go below my fold here. So I'm actually going to go a little bit below the outer corner of my eye here. And I am just really lightly touching the skin and going out. Then I'm going to bring that liner back towards the lash line. Now, this is gonna look a little strange until we finish and until especially we get mascara on. So hang with me here, but I'm gonna do the other eye. And for this eye, because I'm right-handed and I'm crossing over, I'm gonna actually draw this direction, but just with a very light touch. Now on the lower lash line, I'm gonna use a bronze eyeliner. This is one from Dalton. It's an automatic eyeliner. It's a really pretty brown, kind of deep brown with just a hint of some shine in it. But just a little bit of more warmth than that liquid liner. And I'm gonna go about halfway on the lower lash line and I'm connecting it to that liquid liner in the outer corner. All right, let's go in with that E15 from Sigma. And we're gonna go back to our Patrick Ta palette and I'm gonna go in with this lighter shade right here. We're just going to go right where that liner stops and just soften that edge a little bit. Wipe off that brush and now we're gonna go in with our dark brown and we're going to now just go right over the edge of that liquid liner. And I know this looks crazy, but we're going to kind of go over the edge of that liquid liner, kind of down. And then in a moment when we clean up, we're going to make it nice and sharp and crisp. And then I'll take a little bit of the, this shade right next to it. And I'm going to use this a little bit right here. Again, just further softening this look. Okay, now we're going to clean this up before we do the final wonderful finishing step. So I'm just using almond oil. You could use your eye cream makeup remover, whatever is your favorite. I like doing almond oil as it adds a little extra moisture right here in the under eye area. Just make sure you don't have pools of oil under there. And then I'm going to use this to sharpen the line out here and then just take my finger and drag that out. And do you see how it just created this whisper of a line? Do you see that? Okay, so this is 
kind of like a winged liner look, but it's slightly different because it's more of like a horizontal. It's a straighter wing. And I don't know, I, there's just something different about it that I love. All right, now we're going to go in with the star of the show. This is the Moira Glitter Eyeshadow, and this is the shade Sweetness. This has been so much fun. I've used this over the top of so many shadows, but this look in particular, I love. So it's more of like a clear base. I mean, it has a hint of like a champagne base, but it has just multi-dimensional glitter in it and it's gorgeous. So let me show you over the top of that. So we're gonna be careful not to cover over our eyeliner, but you wanna go kind of from the inner corner up and do you see how it doesn't add a thick layer of metallic sparkle? It's just, it looks like it's just kind of scattered over the lid in a really beautiful way. And as the light hits it, it just makes it come to life. Now, once this glitter sets, it stays all day. It's not going to fall down onto your cheeks throughout the day or evening. So that is another wonderful perk about using a liquid glitter product like this one. All right, let's add some concealer. My color corrector today, I'm using the Natasha Denona C3 color corrector. And then I'm going to use a combination of these two shades from the concealer line. So I have YP3 and then I also have P3. So let's start with a little color correction. I'll add P3 right now. And because my brushes are so dirty, <laughs> as you can tell as I've been using them throughout this video, but my concealer brushes are really beyond, beyond hope. So I'm going to go in with the Sephora. This is the number 71 brush. It's similar to the BK Beauty A506 brush, but it's not quite as fluffy, but it still has kind of that same shape. So and use that to tap in the concealer. And then as I get here to the outer corner, you can see I just dragged that right under the line there. I wanna be careful not to cover over our liner and shadow, but kind of use that concealer to further shape that outer edge there. And then a trick to help hide under eye bags or extra dark troughs under the eyes is to go in with one shade lighter concealer than what you just used. So I'm using a YP3. I think this will work. Hopefully it's not too light. So what you're gonna do is, do you see, I have this dark trough right here. So if you have a bag under the eye or you have this dark trough, you're gonna put a dot right towards the nose on the other side of it dot right there all right and then let's see i'm going to use just a little bit here it's an added lift and then i'll do a little bit between the brows here and ooh, getting a little sloppy all right so here between the brows i'm just going to use my foundation sponge to tap that in and now we're going to blend this towards the nose and just go right into that trough but almost like straight into it. Don't carve out the entire trough. I just want you to do kind of this nice highlight right next to the nose. Do you see what, what that does? It is like magic. So what that does is it tricks your eye to have this part come forward and it makes the rest of your under eye look flatter and like you don't have the darkness there or the puffiness either. So I'm gonna use the NARS Laguna Bronzer. I'm still using, I think, shade number two. I think this will work for me. I'm not quite to my winter paleness yet. So this, yeah. And I'm using the BK Beauty 107 brush that is going to get a bath <laughs> after today. Oh my goodness. Working in time for brush cleaning. We all gotta do it, right? And then I'm just using a little bit on my nose. And this is the A503 brush. And I am going to connect this with our shadow in our crease, just lightly. Next, 
next I'm going to set everything in place and today I'm going to use the Honest Beauty setting powder and just a powder puff from Amazon. All right, and then to set the under eyes after you make sure there's no creases there, I'm going to go in with this new powder I've been testing out from Dalton. This is a brightening, it's one of those pink powders, but this is the least pink powder that I've ever tried and the most finely milled. I mean, it's so finely milled that it's, I mean, it's airy. It's like almost just like a whisper of powder. Do you see that? Oh my word. It's like miraculous. I don't know. I'm still testing, but I'm pretty impressed. And then I'm going to also use that just as like a finishing powder in the center to make my pores just vanish. Now we need some blush. Now, normally if I was doing a bright red lip right off, I would put on my lipstick first, but I'm going to do a try on for you of the three shades of the Ally Glines Effortless Lips. So we're going to go ahead and apply some blush and then we'll see if we need to adjust it later. So my go-to blush for a neutral face look is the Patrick Ta She's So LA. So I start off with the powder and an angled brush. This is just the E4 from Morphe. I know they don't make this anymore, but any blush brush, whatever your favorite powder blush brush is, and you want to go in with less than you think because we are going to now top this with the cream. I know that sounds wrong, but that's actually how Patrick Ta uses this. So we're going to do it and it sounds really wrong, but it totally works. And I'm going to use the Ruffer 04 brush. And what happens is it just adds this, I mean, obviously a little more color, but it brings a little bit of glow. There's no shimmer here in this cream. Do you see? It's like it knocks down the powder just enough. And by layering two different formulas on top of each other for blush, it helps your blush stay all day. Now, I will say with the Bare Pro Liquid Foundation, your cheek colors are going to last all day, all night. There's really nothing like that foundation. Now, we need a little bit just a little smidge of some highlighter. Going back to the Rare Beauty highlighter. This is in Exhilarate. Beautiful, beautiful highlighter, but just go in with a light hand and be very gentle. Apparently this, the it's such a soft formulation that it can break in here very easily. So real soft and you probably don't even want to tap it off on the product like I tend to do. Now for the inner corner, because we did that prep step with the concealer, taking it all the way into the inner corner, you can see there's not a lot of darkness there to counteract. So we're going to go in with just a little inner corner highlight. We're going back to this kind of matte, slightly sparkly shade. I am using a brush. This is the E4 from Sigma, just to be a little more precise. Now we definitely need some brows. Brows are really going to help this look come together and make more sense. I'm gonna first start off with, this is the Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Brow Pencil, Volumizing Pencil, and this is in the shade 3.5. I don't know, this has just been working with my current hair color, and I'm gonna do this through kind of the back side of the brow, and then I'm gonna finish with my It Cosmetics Micro Brow Pencil. Adding just a little bit of clear ABH brow gel. Okay, things are looking better, but we need some mascara now to bring it together. I'm gonna to curl my lashes. This is the Ruffer Eyelash Curler. And my mascara combination today, I've got two of my favorites, my Dior Lash Primer, and then I'm using the It Cosmetics Superhero. I just had to break out a new tube. I'm just, I love this mascara. And then on the lower lashes, I'm going to use the Ciate Triple Shot Mascara. This makes sure that nothing budges below my lash line. All right, let's go around the edge of the lips with a little bit of MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. Now, I'm not going to bring this up too far onto my lips. Just enough to 
I'm gonna even out my lip line. And I will use this in between the try-on if each one of these Alec Lines lip products. Okay, so if you are not familiar, Alec Lines is a YouTuber here. She recently launched the Ravi Beauty line, and I'm so excited for her. So I immediately went on, I bought the whole collection, including this denim bag. It's kind of hard to see, but there's flowers embroidered on it. It's so feminine, cute, really good size bag. And I bought all three lip colors. They are again called Effortless Lips. Here's the outer packaging. This is kind of the color that she has chosen as her overall kind of color scheme. It's very calming, soothing, just kind of like you're at the spa. Now the three colors that she's come out with so far, she named them after flowers. So the first one we're gonna show, I'm gonna try on for you is called Lily. And these are slim packaging, really nicely done. The label is similar to the color inside, so that's helpful. If you're trying to find these, you don't have your reading glasses on, you don't have to worry. You can just go by the color of the label. Here's what this looks like. Now, why are these different than your average tinted lip balm or lipstick? Somehow she was able to come up with a formulation that can be applied surely or full color without it getting goopy on the lips. So let me show you. This first color is very nude neutral. One layer. Now I will show you my finished look with a lip liner, but on its own, you can see that gives the lips just kind of a nice little bit of color, some shine, but then we can build this up and get full opaque color, but the lips don't feel goopy. You're not getting all that gross collection on the inside part of your lips. And there's this nice shine. There's just, I feel like there's a slight little vanilla scent, but it's so subtle, you can hardly smell it. I think it's there, but it's just so soft and subtle really good ingredients, really nice formulation, hydrating, moisturizing. They're not gonna be super long wearing on the lips, but overall very comfortable. I love this nice neutral shade. This next one is Dahlia, and this is more of kind of a mid-tone mauve shade, definitely more pink than the first, and just a little deeper even on first layer. So there's like your tinted lip balm look. And now let's layer it up. And there is your lipstick look, full color lipstick. So pretty. This last color I will apply just on its own and then I'm gonna go back and add a lip liner. But I want you to see the color all by itself. And this one is the brightest. This is called Tulip. I almost didn't get this one, but I thought, why not? Let's have a little fun. And it really is a fun shade. So let me show you on my hand. So there it is. And now let me show you the first layer. See how nice that is? Just nice and sheer, like a sheer, kind of raspberry pink color. Now let's go full on. And now full on, you can see a little more of a hint of red. So almost more of like a strawberry color, but I think it's so pretty. And but now I wanted to come back on here in my beautiful silk top. So I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna go in with Hex. This is kind of a plummy purple lip liner. So let me show you how this kind of changes up that lip color a little bit. We're gonna go back in with Tulip. And there is the finished look. So because we added that little bit more plummy tone to the outer edge, it changed up the lip color just slightly. And then in the hair tutorial, you'll see I used the lip liner Nighthawk and that left it a little more of a brighter red color, but I love this. So here's the finished look. 
And overall, again, just that little bit of sparkle on the lids, I think really takes this look to the next level. So you can leave the sparkle out during the day and then just bring this along in your purse, add this to your lid with your finger at nighttime and you're ready to go. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure you check the description box down below for a list and links to everything I used, as well as a link to the video where I will be sharing how I styled my hair all about this top as well as two other outfits and two other hairstyles going from casual to glam. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.